Okay, so we are camping at St. Mary's uh, Reservoir. Yes. Lower. Lower campground. campground. We got a nice little fire going. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, we're gonna do a video or maybe two. I don't know. We'll yeah, see. We'll, we'll see, see how much. We'll see how much footage we got. <laughs> but uh, how much battery life we have while we're all unplugged? We're going on an adventure. <laughs> Okay, so I took Freya on a little explore to get away from the mosquitoes, and we found a nice little day-use swimming area. But it looks a very similar to uh, how we can get in right by our campsite. Okay, Freya, you, you got me all tangled. Okay, we're going to do a spin. There we go. But you can see the, uh, the lower side of the dam there, the spillway uh, from the reservoir itself. Now we're just on a little dike that uh, passes over top of the river. On one side, this side, you can see the, the spillway and that little swimming hole again. And then we go this way and a little hiking trail that we're going to go up and see what we can see. And then this side of the river is uh, towards our campsite, just around that bend there. can be fun to do a little exploring on your own well with your buddy right Freya are you are you helping me explore Chris is back at the campsite um, <laughs> with poor Jazz who's older and can't do big hikes like this it's a little bit of a hill and the Sun's not out yet so it's a good time to be checking things out well before it gets too hot because it's supposed to be really 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 hot this week <laughs> found our way to the top of a little cliff here, at the top of the coulee. And the thing they say about the prairies is they have big skies. <laughs> and boy do they. Um, if you look down, you can see a little bit of the campground down there. They call it St. Mary's Lower Campground because it's pretty low. But yeah, nice view up here. Watch out for the gopher holes. And a pretty good view of the dam. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna lie, the uh, creepy barbed wire fence on the edge of this ranch land does appear to be about the uh, the first act of a horror movie. Oh, there's also a cow here. Hi, cow. Okay, well, it looks like we've uh, explored our exploring most. And uh, we're a little higher up. Let's see uh, what we can see over here. But there's the more of the dam itself. And uh, yeah, cool little walk. What do you say? Let's go back to the campsite and maybe have some bacon for you. You want some bacon? fun explorer. Um, I think I'll head back to the campsite and see what Krista's up to. Hopefully she's uh, ready to cook up some late breakfast. Mm. And here we are, site 26, home sweet home for the next few days. Uh, this is probably one of the largest and most private campsites I've ever seen in a provincial park type recreation area. And look at this location right on this river. Freya, are you excited to see Krista? Yeah, you're a little tired. <laughs> Whoa, there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> she is, she is making bacon. <laughs> you're jumping up and down. <laughs> Always got to do the bacon dance.
Hey, Brandon. Hey. <laughs> you had bacon? I had bacon, mm -hmm. and now my belly's happy, mm -hmm. and I'm having a little relax by the water. How lovely. It's rather calm for a river. It's barely a river. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can see, but along the edge we have of the coolies here, we have swallow nests. That's those weird bumps there. And Krista doesn't like those, but all those, I you know they bother my trypophobia. Um, but all those little tweeting and the little black specks swooping our swallows. Here we actually have a smaller cluster as well. Hey fuzzy buddy. Be like a dove. You don't want to watch the swallows, you can watch the deer. Across the way, mama deer and baby deer. The other great thing about camping, other than the relaxing and the unplugging, right, is early drinks. Woo! Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> so, Krista, what are you drinking today? Oh, good question. I'm drinking a mango neutral. Mm. Mango. It's like fruit. It's like breakfast. It's Health fine. drink, really. Health drink, really. Yeah. It's like a smoothie. And that's our big old tent in the background. The tent mahal. Tent mahal. <laughs> yes. Um, and I got a blackberry lemon zero carb palm bay. Like like fruit salad. Fruit salad, yeah. yeah. Um, Health drink. Delicious. <laughs> we had bacon. It's fine. Probably make some eggs here in a bit. Delicious bacon. Yeah, maybe <laughs> some eggs. We're watching the birds and the fishes blub, and there's some deer up in the hills. Yep. Lovely little morning. Not too hot yet. It's nope. pretty cloudy today, and uh, the bugs have gone away. No, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> pretty mosquitoey here, but that's that's okay. We're gonna persevere. You bet. Cheers. Cheers. Clink. Clink. Oh. <laughs> yes, we are very one with nature here. And here is the floating Canadian in her natural habitat. <laughs> Hear her cry of giggles, indicating that her mood is positive. Are you having fun? Yes. Are you doing, are you doing a float? <laughs> I'm doing a float. Doing a float. Doing a float. Let's zoom in. Hi. Hey. Splooshy sploosh. Go for a swim? We have our own private swimming hole. <laughs> <laughs> Rock. Oh, <laughs> it's not very deep. <laughs> Brandon, what, what are we doing? Going for a morning 
little straw while mm -hmm. the wind is up and the bugs are down. <laughs> it's not too hot yet. Yeah, so the dogs are all right. It's Thursday, so there's a few empty sites still. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be probably a busy check-in day, I would imagine. Yeah, we're going to hear lots of vehicles, <laughs> I think. So I think all of these, or most of these sites through here, are power sites. Down lower are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's power. Yeah, you're right. Most of them, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Jess? <laughs> Morning walkies. <laughs> and there's a little playground over there for like a day use area. Yeah, day use picnic shelters and a fifty. <laughs> Looks like a nice playground set, too. <laughs> some kids playing on it though so we won't go over there because we don't want to scare them. <laughs> There's uh, like self-registration, it asks that you go to your site first, but Lower St. Mary's, at least right now, is all reservation only. We don't know if that's a COVID thing or an all the time thing, but that's kind of what it is right now. So um, we've got the registration box right here, and then we have the map right here. So we are currently in site 26, which is way off on its own, right there. And right now we're here, registration. <laughs> but you can see the river goes all the way along and um, it's, it's pretty straightforward, you know, dogs are of course welcome, but keep them leashed, which is why these guys are along. <laughs> and they're not allowed to be, you know, on playgrounds and things like that. Um, the beach and day use, we just showed you the day use, that's open from 7 to 11. And other than that, yeah, you can just see the river kind of floating all the way along and and then if you're interested in going to the main reservoir it is up we are we are here <laughs> and then you just go up the road and then there's a couple beaches along this south side of the reservoir right so the upper saint mary's and then um wally's beach both the day use and the campground those ones are pretty um common popular mm -hmm. in the area it's supposed to be quite a nice beach actually <laughs> for southern alberta anyway yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, we're pretty happy with pretty happy with the campground and everything like that. So yeah. So we just made a quick pit stop at the day use area. Jez is having a little relax with Krista. Yeah. And there's lots of parking and a couple bathrooms and a swimming hall. Nice little calm river yeah, for swimming so in. Jez is ready to go again. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, there is fish in here. I, we saw a couple people with their fishing poles earlier. I haven't seen any big fish. I think they're pretty small. I think they're pretty small, is right. Pretty shallow river. A little sludgy on the bottom, but uh, bring your water shoes and yeah. And if you're in Site 26, you got your own private swimming hole, so you oh, don't need yeah. this one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't need to share. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to turn your head really quickly to play poo sticks there. There's a snake. Oh! Sure it a oh, thank you. <laughs> Just a garter one? so that they would have um, enough water for all the irrigation in the area. It's big farmland and they have all sorts of irrigation canals and things like that. So they needed to 
have a source of water at ready use. Right, that makes sense. But yeah, it looks cool down here, and it looks like there's a little walking trail over this way that you could continue with if you didn't have a geriatric dog. <laughs> I'm not the geriatric dog. <laughs> no, this, Jazz is... this is the geriatric doggy. Oh, Jazz. <laughs> Oh, she wasn't smiling for the camera. <laughs> She's but, like, I'm tired, uh, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a cute, cute little walk over here yeah. from the campsite and good to explore. Um, up at the top, they have some uh, interpretive signs. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a viewing area, a couple viewing areas uh, up there. And, yeah. But yeah, interesting part of the area for sure. Definitely. more of the campsites. Ooh. So the sun seems to be like red. That is actually the color of the sun right now. The next province over is on fire. That's why. Yep. Sad. And every day we notice that the moon and sun have been getting oranger and redder and it's been getting hazier earlier and yep. <laughs> Well, we're back to civilization, and uh, I just got to put the chairs away, <laughs> and there's there's mosquitoes here too. What the heck with that? <laughs> um, but thanks for watching and coming camping with us, and uh, don't forget to like and also subscribe and all that fun YouTube stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, and stay tuned for more cool travel videos. Yeah, coming up. Yeah.